now we have yet another update so I'll start from the beginning once again because I'm you know people ask me why have you got no hair because there are billions of people on TikTok and most of them the majority of them have no idea who I am so I have cancer my hair is now growing back. I was at the beginning of 2023, the end of February, uh, it was picked up that I had a uh, quite significant endometrial cancer. It was staged out at 3C. It was operated on. No big deal. Suctioned out all my reproductive organs. Brilliant. Not as horrendous as I thought. It involved a night in hospital. I felt awful for 48 hours because it's the gas. So if you're having that, expect the gas, heat and vibration sorts it out once that's gone it sore and I took some interesting painkillers but to be honest by about the four or five week mark I felt pretty much fine my waistline probably took about 12 weeks to go back to normal but other than that I felt fine then I had radiotherapy I had 25 sessions of that again no major side effects I mean I'm not saying there are no side effects but the most tiring thing about it is having to go down to the radiotherapy department every single day however and drinking all that water god it makes you feel ill never let anybody tell you that you'll feel better if you drink too much water you won't you'll feel awful um stick to coffee you know where you are with coffee tea gin bourbon jobs are good my kidneys by the way are incredibly healthy um so then i was transferred up to a, a hospital closer to me and on the transfer they started two sessions of chemotherapy and they discovered i had uh, bowel cancer now they didn't know whether the bowel cancer was connected to the endometrial cancer or whether it was uh, completely separate so i had had at that point two sessions of chemotherapy uh, carboplatin and paclitaxel if anyone's interested uh, they didn't make me feel too bad uh, about a week after each one I felt a bit wobbly most of that I think was from the drugs that they give you to stop them making you feel ill so then they discovered this bowel lesion so they halted the chemotherapy because they wanted to make sure that they were treating me appropriately chemotherapy is very toxic and they didn't want to give me something that wasn't doing anything much except making me ill so they did a colonoscopy, they did uh, a PET scan, a CT scan, lots of blood tests, and I've had the follow-up now. Um, that's the only other place I have any lesions is in my ascending colon. It's, I don't know how big it is, not massive, but it's, it's not deep. Anyway, ignoring that. Um, so it has been decided they can't work out if it is connected to the endometrial cancer or if it's a completely new one. Uh, they have features, you know, they are similar to each other, but it's all very mutated, as cancer often is, and they can't be sure. So it looks as though it was responding anyway to the regime of paclitaxel and carboplatin. So I am to have another four cycles of that, and it's a day, pretty much five-hour infusion over the course of a day, every four weeks. And then I am also going on to this stuff which is called dostalimab, and it is an uh, immunotherapy drug. Now, it's also known as a checkpoint inhibitor, and basically it teaches my immune system that the cancer is alien and it should attack it. Now, hopefully this will work. They do have some interesting side effects, so I possible I might not tolerate it. I might be fine. Um, I can take that for up to two years, and we will see what happens. Uh, like I said, it's not without side effects, and I haven't had one yet, so I don't know. Um, but I will start off by having one dose every three weeks uh, for four doses, and then I will go on to having a double dose every six weeks. And hopefully, in between those times, I will be perfectly normal, and I will be able to continue and pick up my life as normal. Um, we will have to wait and see. And like I said, the idea is the reason your immune system doesn't recognise cancer because your cancer is part of you. It's a bit of you that's gone rogue. So your immune system doesn't recognise it as something it should get rid of. And the idea of these drugs is they teach them that they teach your immune system that cancer is a rogue state and to eliminate it. It can have side effects because your immune system can get completely carried away with itself and start thinking that other bits of you, like your thyroid or your pituitary or whatever, is also going rogue and it can attack them. A lot of it can be controlled. You just keep in good contact with your team. 
If it can't be controlled, then they have to take you off of it. But we won't know until we try. So I'm looking forward to starting that. Um, I have my, I've got a week to go. Um, and then I will have kind of, you know, my blood test and everything. Um, and then they will give me a start date and we will see how I get on. And unfortunately, my newly growing fluffy hair will go again. So I'll be as bald as you like. That'll be fun, eh? Hey?